Good evening guys, this is Henry Gamble with SimplerOptions.com and in today's free video I want to take a look at Johnson & Johnson. So we're just starting to get into the next quarter of earnings and that's kind of the focus for where everyone's been trading. Around that, what type of setups might you look to to try and take advantage of this report? Now Johnson & Johnson reports tomorrow morning, so any options positions that you want to get positioned in, you're going to have to take them Monday afternoon prior to the cash session closing. You will still be able to trade the shares in the extended session if that's something that you would like to do, but primarily I focus on trying to set these trades up around earnings and then take advantage of the implied volatility crush. Johnson & Johnson was an interesting example because when we come over and take a look at an options chain, there really is not all that much implied volatility in Johnson & Johnson. And this is one thing, there's several reasons why I've kind of taken this with small size. I've given myself some room to work around the idea. The first of which is that the implied volatility in these front month options is not staggering. Typically what you like to see is that the front month or the series that is going to be most affected by earnings is trading at least to double what you see back here in the back month and we're just not getting it. It's only elevated by a very marginal percent. So that makes it you know, not as, att as attractive. I also hesitate to put on plays for earnings trades from Monday into Tuesday, because even though you will get a little bit of that vol crunch, you still have the time premium from Tuesday into Friday, and a lot of times that can be just one more thing you have to hold through to let the play come through. So with all these things being determined, how do you set it up and how might you look at this to take advantage of you know, the move? Well, when I look at it, the first thing that I had noticed, and this does go a little bit against the squeezes, because usually with a squeeze, I'm going to vouch for a bigger than expected move, both Johnson and Johnson. And you know, if there was ever a market that I would at least think would have a calm reaction to earnings, stay within their expected move, I think this would be it. Also, we have a voodoo line that is back down here at 1066, 1039, looking for a gravitational effect down towards that. And the thing that I do after this is I say, well, how am I moving in relation to my broad moving averages? In this case, and especially given where we closed, we're below all of those. So that gives me a slightly bearish bias. But in the same breath, uh, I'm still expecting them to make money. I think the report will probably be okay. And you have a nice psychological level around 100. So the way that I chose to set that up was by doing two vertical spreads. Now this is very similar to doing an iron butterfly where you are selling the exact same strike, one on the put side and one on the call side. But in this case, I've done it more leveraged against the call side because of my bearish opinion on that chart that we just looked at. So when you take something like this, and if you're not quite sure about how this would relate into your actual position, then you can come over and bring up your analyze tab and get a really good feel for it. So in this situation, remember again, I've got that bearish bias for the technicals we've discussed. If this thing does explode to the downside, I'm pretty much going to be looking at a break-even trade. If it explodes higher, well then I do have, you know, this is where the majority of my risk is, but then especially around a monthly expiration, right there around 100 is where I can really bring this trade in if it will drift for me into Friday. So that's one thing that I like looking at getting positioned around for these earnings trades. When it blows up against you, at least your risk is very well defined. When it goes in your favor, you try to maximize that move as best you can. And I think those are some of the best strategies to focus on around earnings. If you find that interesting, or if you would like to look at some additional strategies around that, John is going to be hosting a free webinar tomorrow night that will go around essentially exactly what I just showed you and several other variants that they work off the same way. You know, how can I limit my risk in an explosion? How can I make the most money when it moves and goes in my favor? And there's lots of strategies to look at around that. One of them I've shared with you today, and John will have a lot more of them to look at tomorrow night. So if you're interested in that, you'll have a sign-up link here after the video, and I hope to see you there.